I have uh, one good story that I always like to tell. Um, so um, can, actually, who, who is in fashion? Is anyone here in fashion? OK, so a few. So everyone like hears that like um, the Devil Wars Prada stories, right? Like that there's these just like horrific diva personalities. It is all true. <laughs> it is. They exist. Um, so I am um, not going to throw anyone under the bus. Um, but I definitely had my fair share of run-ins with um, those personality types, some of which are still around, some of which aren't. Um, and one in particular was, man, it was, it was almost a turning point for me. Um, so this was towards sort of the, I was actually not using, I wasn't a 3D modeler at the time, but I was definitely using 3D printing um, with the help of my mentor. Um, and he was, you know, anyway. So, there was, again, so this is a push lock, a different kind of lock. Um, so this was a push lock, and without getting too technical, basically a push lock is um, a, a, it's a large button that you push that releases a flap out of a metal kind of casing. So um, that, so this one designer that I was doing this push lock, Hello? Oh. <laughs> that I was doing this push lock for. Um, she um, had a vintage sample. It was a vintage coach sample. Um, the push lock itself on this vintage piece was made in sheet metal. And sheet metal has different tolerances. You can make it a lot thinner. Um, you can just make things differently. Um, we had moved away from sheet metal. We were die casting everything. Um, different tolerances, different wall thickness. So. She said, basically, I want this exact push lock. So I went and started working on it, working with the factory, getting it all figured out. And we, I went to China twice, kind of for the purpose to get this push lock right, because this was at a time when Coach was kind of, the success of Coach was really riding on the reinvention of itself. And this was, um, you know, anyway. So, all eyes were on this push lock. It was going to be used across a huge, um, hopefully major selling collection. And I came back from China the second time I had had, I got this thing great. It was <laughs> functioning. It looked great. And she said to me, oh, so her big requirement for this push lock was that the casing that the button actually sits in needed to be thin. So when you take the bag and you look at it from the side, it just needed to not stick off the bag so much. And so when I say it needed to be thinner, it was a five millimeter casing, five millimeter thick. She wanted it to be four and a half millimeter, four millimeters. Fine, okay, 20% thinner, fine. So in my time in China, it was negotiating with the factory. What if you shave off a little more here? Can I get a 0.6 wall thickness, not a 0.8 wall thickness on both sides? Just give me what we can get. I got it down to 4.5 millimeters. Not four, 4.5. So I came back from my last trip, showed her this thing on the sample. It was beautiful, 4.5 millimeters thick. And she said, are you trying to sabotage this company? I honestly didn't know what to say. <laughs> and I just said, look, I, I literally went to China twice <laughs> with the sole purpose of getting this push lock perfect. I want nothing more than to give you exactly what you want. But you have to trust me. There, there's no possible physical way I can make this any thinner. And she just said, out. And she threw me out of her office. And I'd like to say that I had some grandiose speech for, I, I, was, I just had tears. I was just shaking. I was just, I was livid and I was embarrassed. Getting emotional thinking about it. Um, and, but what that was for me was this point where I went into my boss's office and the VP of design had to escort me out of her office and kind of like go to the bathroom, compose yourself, meet me in your boss's office. And I'm like, this is it, I'm getting fired. I'm getting fired over a half a millimeter. <laughs> <laughs> and I, of course I wasn't getting fired. My boss knew the personality type and the pressure that she was under. And he said, well, you know, what do you wanna do? Do you want me to go to HR? Do you want this to be, I, I will fight for you. And thank you to him for doing that because, you know, he, 
He was there for me, he had my back. But I said, well, what happens? What, what happens if we go to HR? And he said, well, you know, she'll probably get scolded. I'm like, but she's not gonna get fired. Not, they're not gonna fire her. Um, everything is writing on her. And he said, no, she's not, they're not gonna fire her. And I said, no, then we're not going to HR. I'm, you know, it's, it's fine. He said, well, what, what are you gonna do? And I said, you know what? I'm gonna outlast her. And I outlasted her. And she, she, I continued to work with her for another year or so, and our relationship was never the same. Um, she used to call me Lizzie. And every time she would say Liz, I said, Liz, it's Liz. And we worked together, and it was fine, and we got things done, and it was successful. But um, at that moment, I was like, you know what? No, I, I'm, I've, I'm in my dream job. I'm not walking away from this. This one person's not. I'm not walking away from this.